Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Paula and on this platform we discuss designer fashion, luxury and lifestyle but in a more practical and sensible way. Today I thought that I would kind of make a small review on my Golden Goose sneakers. One year wear and tear, uh, sizing and all of that and also like they are quite popular but I would say pricey. So do I think that it's actually worth spending that money on a Golden Goose sneaker? So if this is something you're interested in, please keep watching. Before we get started, it would mean the world to me. If you would like this video, comment even, but definitely subscribe to my channel and come back here. I post new videos every Monday and Thursday, and I think you would also like it here. So <laughs> the sidekick or even <laughs> main character of this video are the Golden Goose <laughs> sneakers. And um, this is probably the closest <laughs> photo I'm gonna share of these because uh, they dirty and um, I've definitely worn them like worn but um, Before we start going into how they look so Beaten up and how do I see the wear and tear after a year is a year actually long enough time or is it really just nothing at all? So I'm gonna share why I decided to purchase these shoes. So I would say like almost a year ago, I was contemplating on purchasing my first ever designer sneakers. And um, it was a big <laughs> kind of um, thought process because I do wear my shoes, especially if I'm buying sneakers. Um, they are meant to be worn on an everyday basis. It's not like heels that I need to somehow protect uh, or want to protect or they stay protected because I don't wear them that much. Uh, but actually like they are meant for being used. And um, I do tend to walk a lot. I live quite close to the city center. It's like one and a half kilometers or so. I'm able to walk to work. Right now, that's not really an issue, but <laughs> whenever that is possible again, I'm gonna do that. So like my shoes get worn. I do walk a lot to places um, and, and so on and so on. So I was really kind of contemplating if I should spend that much money on shoes that tend to last me like um, one season or kind of one year maximum, two years. Um, and then they look like so done <laughs> that um, I just, I need to buy a new pair uh, to, to actually look presentable. <laughs> so, um, but there was like something in my mind that I wanted to get a designer sneaker because for some reason, designer items, they make me feel happy. And, and I, I somehow, feel, I don't want to say better, but I like the feeling that designer bags give me. So I just kind of thought that shoes might do the same trick for me. And um, definitely something I could wear every day so that the feeling would last every day. So then when I made up my mind that I'm gonna purchase designer sneakers, I needed to kind of do my research on what type of sneakers. And I had these golden goose. I was contemplating the Gucci A sneakers, but like, come on, everybody has had them at that point. Plus, I think they were a bit too colorful for my everyday liking. Um, those would have screamed Gucci on every step, and that's kind of not what I wanted. I would not want to go to work looking like I have designer head to toe and, and just kind of my stuff screaming. I was expensive, so um, those were kind of out of out of the picture. And then I know Louis Vuitton has white sneakers and, and all of that. I was looking um, at different things, but I did really like uh, the aesthetics of the Golden Goose, especially these, I think it's like Superstar uh, sneakers, which is like really, really simple. Just like white sneaker with a gray star on the side and then this kind of black trimming here um i gotta say like these look terrible but when i bought these these were actually like clean sneakers these were not the ones that were kind of uh, distressed <laughs> while purchasing so these were actually 
clean um and i've managed to make them look like this uh but i think that like these these are not so recognizable if you are not into designer fashion so i thought these would be really good for work purposes or or anything like that but i don't really want to be wearing stuff that says designer so i ended up on these as well as the price point at that time i'm not really actually sure if they have uh, them as well have maybe kind of made the prices go up as all the other brands have um, but I think they were a bit less expensive when I purchased these uh, I also made sure that I had a discount code so I ordered these from Farfetch I think uh, not sponsored they don't know I exist as unless I'm a paying customer with my own account but basically I had some discount codes from somewhere um, so I could get 10% off from these so then the price became like somewhat tolerable uh, for for these um, and uh, when I put them on for the first time they felt like butter, bu butter, like everything was so smooth and the leather, it was so nice. I had no issues with this um, part because that's you that might kind of give blisters if you're uh, before your feet actually kind of gets along <laughs> with the leather. Um, so like they were super, super easy from the first day onwards, like so comfortable. The only issue that I, I did have by wearing them is um, the heel, especially from the right shoe, so from this one, it, at least in the beginning, it just kind of pulled my sock down. So I had these ankle socks so that I wouldn't have like a long, long sock coming through. So it ended somewhere around here and then it just kind of pulled the sock off from my heel. Um, slightly annoying uh, but luckily like this is also super soft leather so no blisters from that one um, that feature became a bit better once I wore these more but that was like every time I put them on it did that and sometimes multiple times when I was wearing these so I don't know why but it did that so <laughs> a nice feature but like you can see, I wore these probably every day from, I got them maybe in March, April a year ago. And then the sneaker season ended here in, I would say maybe November, December, uh, 2020. And then these have been resting for a couple of months because we've had snow, so I haven't worn these. Um, and now we're getting back into sneaker season so i pulled these out from my closet and looked at them like how dead do these look uh my fault have been wearing them but i'm not really a person who has the energy to clean up my shoes every time i get home i probably should and maybe i shouldn't have these expensive shoes because i'm so lazy but that the reason why they look so dirty is because they are dirty and i haven't really cleaned them uh, but maybe it make this bit more honest review since you actually see what they look like after <laughs> being worn um, so that uh, maybe this is the good time to look at the wear and tear of the shoe so I mean I've worn these I don't know <laughs> how many walked on these and how many kilometers uh, they are okay like they are not that bad um, one thing though that this side from the heel has kind of uh, rubbed off so I think I need to take these to a cobbler to make sure that this is not gonna get any worse maybe it's, it's visible but basically it has kind of rubbed off this part of the rubber I just don't want to touch the shoes um, so there is a slight kind of hole formulating down there but I will just take them to a cobbler so that they should be good good to go um so that's kind of from that wear and tear side i would say they wear okay they are white sneaker i am the owner it's my fault that they look like like this um but if you look at the places that usually get kind of uh, get the most hit it's in the, the front part there is nothing the sides 
completely okay. It's just this one, <laughs> there was a stone, this one heel. And if I look at the other shoe, it's kind of starting to do the same, the same thing in there. So, I mean, that's probably the Achilles heel, so to say, um, after my wear and tear of, of these shoes. But that's the only thing. And with the sock problem, I don't know, I, I could live with it. And it went better after a while. Let me know if you own Golden Goose and if you've had the same issue. Or if it's just me and my, my foot is somewhat weird. I don't know. Um, so then about the sizing. So I'm in women's shoes, 41, 42, depending. Uh, my foot is 27 centimeters long, uh, if someone cares and needs that information. Um, I purchased those shoes from the men's line because that was the only line at that time where I could locate completely kind of clean sneakers without the distressing, distressing or the dirt um, in them. So I wanted the clean pair and those are from the men's line. And the size from the men's side is 41. So um, that's for, for all for our other ladies out there, maybe even gents, because obviously unisex, um, who have a similar sized foot that I do. That That's the size I went with completely good. Like that's, that's the perfect size for me. And um, I think I was able to get the measurements from either um, Forfeit's own site or then I went into Golden Goose's site to get the kind of measurements of the insole of the shoe. So I kind of, uh, I knew what size to order. Was it 41, 42? Sometimes in men's size I could be a 40. So maybe if you, you, you have some use with that information, then you're welcome. And um, finally, would I repurchase them? Like, do I think they are worth the money? Hmm, that's, that's a bit tricky one because prior to this, I haven't owned designer sneakers. I have owned less expensive leather sneakers and I would say the wear and tear is the same. Like, I, I own... At least I've owned, I still think I do, these Adidas Superstar sneakers, which I think have the pretty same look as, as those do. Um, I've had them for a couple of years, and to be honest, I think the wear and tear in them is a bit better. Uh, so, uh, I don't know if I would repurchase them. For the look of the shoe, yeah. Yeah, I get it. I, I still think they are really, really nice and, and cute and um, in a way practical because you can wear them with people with whom you do not want to show off. Uh, show off, I don't think it's showing off, but, but you know what I mean if you are into this stuff. Sometimes you just don't want to go with the logo. Um, so those shoes can be worn in that type of crowd. Uh, you won't stand out, but then you kind of feel like, yeah, I have these nice sneakers. So I don't know, like if you, let's say scenario, you would have two pairs of sneakers, one uh, from the price range of, let's say Adidas superstars. And then those, I think if you can afford it, that would be maybe a good, good option. Cause then those would last longer. Uh, if you would have another pair of shoes to walk on, um, having these as the main, a sneaker for for many years um i don't know if i wear them wrong or, or what what's the issue but i don't really know if i would recommend them to be honest um just because of the wear and tear especially in the heel um side and um yeah they look quite beaten up don't they so i just <laughs> I don't really like to recommend people to buy stuff, expensive stuff solely on the look because I know that Jimmy Choo has really nice, uh, beautiful white sneakers with, uh, I would, I think they are a bit less expensive than those ones. I will check and, and link, but 
like I don't really know if that's worth it to go with that money on those shoes uh, unless you actually can afford to purchase new designer sneakers after each year or season or, or however you wear them uh, because that's gonna be like super expensive because if I compare them to let's say Adidas Superstar sneakers yeah they got worse looking faster <laughs> than those so maybe it's softer leather or something like that uh, but right now they do not look like super presentable I'm still gonna wear them uh, because I'm gonna take them to a cobbler and get them fixed uh, I paid too much money to just kind of let them go at this point but um, yeah I'm, I'm kind of I don't regret purchasing them but I do feel that the money could be put also elsewhere that was it please let me know what you think about the golden goose sneakers if you want them do you have them are they good bad anything and um, thank you for watching see you in my next video bye